Hey there everyone, it's the most kissable YouTuber, B3, back with another kicking action figure review. Today we are looking at the Shreich Juvenile Therizinosaurus. Now Therizinosaurus is my favorite herbivorous dinosaur, and I had the Papo and I had the Schleich, so I was like, let's get the Juvenile from Schleich, you know? I think it's pretty cool. It has one less point of articulation than the adult, because the adult had two arms and a jaw. No jaw on this little guy, but it does have arms. Uh, this arm, you know, it's great. It can almost do 360. It's really nice. This arm smacks him in the face. Uh, so you can't really raise it as much as you'd like. It would have been good if they didn't put his face right in the way of his hand. <laughs> I think that would have been nice. That's a bit of a weird flaw, but it does get arm articulation. And don't expect any arm articulation from Papo or Safari. Just don't, because you're not going to get it, right? Schleich is the only one willing to give it, but only in very specific circumstances, it seems. Oh well, I can live with that. Detail and paint-wise, it's the same coloration as the adult, which is really good. I like all the feathers. I like the material that the Schleiches are made out of. I like the feel of it. Really nice. He's a little scuffed up on the face, but I got him 20% off. He was the last one. And they weren't sure if they were going to stock more. But they might. Uh, once Jurassic World Dominion is out. I'm recording this before Jurassic World 3 drops, but I'm recording it three days before... No, not three days before it comes out. I'm recording it three days before I see it. Never mind. I'm seeing it on the 7th, because I got VIP tickets. Ooh, get wrecked. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, my review for Jurassic World Dominion will be on the second channel, and it'll be up before the movie's out, so it'll be spoiler-free. It'll be spoiler-free. So, yeah, you know, this is a neat little figure. I like the detail and paint. I like the articulation. I just wish it didn't smack itself in the face. And I'm not entirely sure why we didn't get jaw. He's big enough to have jaw. And the Velociraptor that has arm articulation has jaw articulation. So does the Utah Raptor. Why doesn't the Therizinosaurus? I don't know. It just seems like the jaw articulation maybe should have been included. And he smacks himself in the face. But from a toy line that usually gives a zero to one points, I'm still pretty happy to have two. That's still more than average, right? Okay, so now let's uh, take our juvenile, throw it into some size comparisons. Here he is with a Papo Allosaurus. They kiss. Okay. <clears throat> All right, here he is with another Schleich, the Schleich Ankylosaur. Hmm. Pretty cool. And last but not least, a Wild Safari Shunosaurus. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, it is bad, because this is really tiny, but... <laughs> I mean, they'll look fine together in a big dinosaur. On, on, on your shelf together. I'm just showing you. Compared with other brands is all. But yeah, that is it for the Schleich Juvenile... <laughs> There's an Asaurus. I think it's a cool figure. Uh, it could be improved articulation-wise. This was quite the design flaw. Not sure why it doesn't have the jaw, other than, you know, money. But still, it's nice to have a juvenile. I think that's really cool. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Uh, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more reviews. I still got a lot of prehistoric creature reviews. I got a lot of papos coming up. I'm going to review the Allosaurus and Ankylosaurus you just saw. I got a Woolly Mammoth to review. I got a Diablo Ceratops. Uh, I already reviewed the Shunosaurus I just showed you. I got a Papo Acrocanthosaurus. Uh, the Papo there is an Asaurus. I got a lot coming. So that's it. Thank you all once again. And I'll see you all next time, you kissable little fellas.